everybody. Welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Today's topic is why are so many black women single? Why? Why are so many beautiful black women single? Before we get started, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, let's dive into this topic. Many of us black women find ourselves single because there's a shortage of available black men. Number one, we'll, we'll go with that. Where are our black men? <laughs> Half of them are in prison, jail or prison, you see? And that is by design of the system. You know, after slavery, you know, the system didn't know what to do with black people. <laughs> they really didn't. So they uh, designed a system to incarcerate half of them. The prison system is filled with black men, ladies. So half your men are there. Maybe the other half decide they want to be gay. They want to like men. All right. So where does that leave you? Your pool is very small. Very small. Now out of the, the very small pool of black men that are, let's say, available to women, half of that pool of available men prefer women of other races. They don't want a black woman. They want a woman from another race. All right, so now the pool is even smaller. This is just a very small pool. And in this pool that is left, what you got? You got the psychopaths, the sociopaths, the narcissists, the non-committal men, and a very tiny, tiny piece of good men. But you got a whole pool of black women. What's to do? Now, um, many black women uh, who are not single have uh, decided to date men of other races and marry them. But still, there's a whole slew of black women who are left to be single. And that's why I uh, encourage you to work on yourself. It's not a lot of choices out here for you, but if you work on yourself, build up yourself, love yourself, create a foundation for yourself, you will make yourself more attractive to men of any race. Ladies, you don't have to be tied in to just date men of your race. Now, I know that uh, it probably is a preference to date someone of your own race, but if nobody is available of your own race and someone else from a different race approaches you, be open. Ladies, be open. Number one, because um, men from other races have not suffered what the black man has suffered. I was about to say here in America, but the black man has suffered no matter where he is. Period. From oppression by the mere fact the color of his skin. He's been oppressed. Now black women uh, have been portrayed as uh, whores. Loose. Nobody wants to marry a whore. You understand? And black women have also been portrayed as being bitter. Very bitter black women. Bitter and aggressive. Now, let's say something about that. All right? Since slavery, black men have been destroyed. Since slavery. All right? Now, the black woman... Here she is left on her own to survive and take care of her children 
on her own because the system has destroyed the man, you know, has uh, taken away all his power. He can't find work. Many of them uh, already have records, have criminal records, only because they have tried to survive in the system. So they have a criminal record. The, the system stamped them. All right. It's not good. It's, it's almost like the system has decided to eliminate the black population. And the way that they've decided to do that is to destroy the man. They destroy the man. The woman, where is she? Many women, out, many black women are left alone care, uh, raising their children all alone. Because their men have been taken away. Taken away. It's nothing wrong with you black women. You are beautiful. You are as beautiful as any other woman in the world. There's nothing wrong with you. Uh, black women have been portrayed as being bitter. Well, you know what? You really have a reason to be bitter if you bitter. <laughs> a lot of things have happened to you. A lot of things. Your livelihood has been taken away. It's hard for you to even make a living. Many times you have children by yourself, no man to help you out. Because men, the, because the pressures of society are making the men more feminine. Feminine. So they are looking to be taken care of, not real men to take care of their families. See, the black man has been broken down. He's continually trying to find himself. He, he is. He's continually trying to find himself. And as he does that and helps younger men to understand their power and who they really are in this world, then they be can become more upstanding men and value their women. See, many black men uh, don't value their women. During the times of slavery, women were taught that they, can't, they cannot um, trust their men to protect them because the system has taken the power away from the man to be a protector or a good provider. The system has done that. The system is continually trying to destroy the black man. Now, brown men, they still have their culture. So it's different, you see. They still have their culture, so they embrace their women and their families and all of that. But for the black men, your culture is destroyed. You don't even know where your culture is. Half of us don't even know where we came from. You know, they tell us that we came from Africa. But is that true? We could have been born right here on this land. You don't know, people. Black people has, have been dispersed all over the continent. And we really don't know where our origin is. Some people say our origin is in Israel. Some people say our origin is in Africa. Some people say our origin is right here in America. We don't really know. All we know is what the system has taught us. But see, the system is what is destroying us. When you listen to it, because the system is regulating what the woman is supposed to be, what the man is supposed to be, and the family is supposed to be. And the system actually is destroying the family. It has almost totally destroyed the black family. The, the black men who make anything out of their lives, 
go for white women to marry. And why is that? Because white beauty is the standard. Whiteness is the standard of beauty in this system. Okay? So, the black man, when he decides to marry, and if he is at a certain status, you know, he's making a large income or whatever, he feels like he wants a woman on from the top shelf. The top shelf woman. And in the black man's eyes, many of them, I'm not saying all of them, but many of them who make it big, in their eyes, top shelf women is that white woman. That, in their eyes, that's what a top shelf woman is, a white woman. The system has warped your mind to, to believe this. Women are women, people. Understand this. You know, culture makes a difference. But women are basically women. Just like men are basically men. And what color their skin shade is should not make a difference. Now, the way that they were brought up could make a difference in who you choose to marry. That's right. But the skin color should not be a difference. And black women have been crucified. Because of their skin color. Their skin color. In the process of the system destroying the man, it destroys the woman too. You know, uh, the system, I'm telling you, after slavery, they didn't know what to do with black people. That's why we kept hearing those terms, go back to Africa. Well, who's to say we even came from Africa? That's what they say in the books, but you, we're finding today you can't believe everything you read in the books these days. They only tell us what they want us to believe. You got to do your own research and try to find out for yourself what's going on. But ladies, black women, love yourself. Don't worry about it. If you're single, you can be happy, single, and strong. You don't have to have a companion. If you desire a companion, there are ways to attract them. Attract what you desire. But be flexible in today's society, ladies. Be flexible. There are uh, men from other races who are now approaching black women. So all of that's going to change soon where black women won't, won't be uh, the most undesirable women to marry. That's changing now. Only because other races are coming in to marry black women. They're saying that there's nothing wrong with the black woman. The black woman is a beautiful woman. A beautiful woman. And has many gifts. Many gifts. It's just that society has tainted the minds of many people to make them feel like black people are evil. Black people are lazy. Black people are stupid. Uh, black women are aggressive. Listen, that's ridiculous. Women are women because black women have been forced to take the lead because there's no men. They've been forced to be the strong leader in the households. But this is by design. Through the system. People. Black women. Do not down yourself. Because you don't feel like men are uh, respecting you the way that they should. Respect yourself and demand respect. And don't settle. See, when you settle, that's what makes you feel less than. You don't, you don't feel your worth, your full value when you settle. Never settle. Love yourself. And if you desire a mate, meditate on it. 
and ask the universe to deliver you a mate just right for you. And black women, you are beautiful black women. It's no reason for you to go out and try to, to enhance yourself to meet the standard of whiteness. Black women, don't do it. Don't try to meet that standard of whiteness. That's something that the system came up with. The whiteness was the standard of beauty. So that's why you see women all over the world, black women, trying to lighten up their complexions, looking as white as possible. You know, listen, don't do it. Be yourself. Love yourself. And when you love yourself, that love is what you're putting out. And that love of yourself is very attractive to men of all races. All races. So, um, cherish yourself. And, and it will show. And your beauty will show. And men will find you irresistible. And when he comes, he may not be a black man. He, he may be of a different race. Be open to it. Just realize that people are people. I, I, I call it the system. And the system is why people are divided. Because when people are divided, the system can work its magic on you and put you in, in these categories. You know, you are better than, you are less than, you are nobody, you know, these categories. But if people would unite and understand that we are all, we are all of one mind, the universal God mind, then we are all connected. And there's no reason for us to fight each other and to put these terrible labels on each other. There's no reason for that. Love each other. Just like you love yourself. I think that's the golden, the golden rule. Is to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I think that's the golden rule. Anyway, if you live your life like that. It'll be a happier place for everyone. Just don't do to other people what you don't want done to you. Ladies. If you are single. It's okay. Don't be depressed. Find your joy into things that you enjoy doing. Love yourself. Love yourself. Ladies, don't feel some sort of way if you find yourself single. And you are, you know, maybe over 40. Or maybe over 50. You know, and... um. You desire a companion. And a lot of uh, ladies that write me, you desire a companion. How, what do you do? You love yourself. Don't go out looking for him. Don't do that. And those of you ladies who desire, you know, someone of your own race, when you go into meditation, ask for it. Ask. And allow the divine to bring it to you. That's the best way. Don't go out looking for men because you find yourself single or anything like that and don't settle. You can find happiness in being single. And this uh, video was why are many black women single? And the reason is because many black women prefer black men but there are no black men available. <laughs> Not many. Between two prison, those who decide to be gay, and those who are just not suitable. Okay, it's just not that many left. I hope that you understand the message today. And I really hope that it helps someone. Now, those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, my email address is in the description. And um, 
If you're looking for your affirmation for today, also the link is in the description. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and your letters. And a very special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.